Hey y'all, it's me, Jamie, once again, continuing my story which I started like some months ago. Well, uh, I kind of forgot to tell the rest of my story on camera because basically I got a little too emotional at the end there. What you might get, I guess, but hey, you know, I'm here now telling my story and this time I have chips too, so that's great. And um, hmm, where did I? Leave? Where did I leave the story? Oh, hmm. I know you're all dying to know how the story continues, but honestly, I don't know where to start. Maybe I should just retell the whole story. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. I remember where I started and where I left off. I think, more or less. I think. Uh, okay, I think I remember where, where I left off. So I'm just going to tell the story and I can just put it out on iMovie, I guess. If things ain't right, which they probably won't be. But hey, I'm continuing the story right here and right now. Jamie? Jamie, wake up, please. Please, don't go. Hey, how is my son? Your son is probably fine. We just have to examine him and maybe empty his stomach. We will keep you up to date. Wait, so I can join him? No, we're sorry. Here, take it, take my phone. I will keep him company this way. Okay. Look, Jamie, 16 years ago, you came into my life. I was just a pregnant teen. Your dad walked out as soon as he knew, and my parents didn't want to support me anymore. Hey, Dad, can I borrow 50 bucks? Fine. Then I will ask Grandma. I had to get a job. I have to get a job. I looked for jobs for a very long time, and I did many jobs during and after the pregnancy. I was a tour guide, secretary, station worker, a shop assistant, a garbage collector, a stripper, a bank robber, well, I tried to be one, and a shop assistant, again, until the point I had to sell my backpack, glasses, and favorite sweater, and had to wear the same tank top for months. But none of them were stable enough to give you the life you truly deserve. I wanted to give you everything, to be honest. But it was never enough. 
I'm sorry, entitled project. I wish I could care for you. Then came the hand, and I got the one offer I couldn't refuse. I became a cleaning lady at the library, and it changed my life. I give birth to you, and there you were, a baby without a name, until... I guess I can't call you a title project anymore. Hello, Jane. I was so lucky to get a job at the library. It paid me enough to let you grow up. I met Patrick at the office on top of the library, and all I had to do was work almost 16 hours a day. I'm going home now. I need to tell you something when you wake up though. I'm sorry and I miss you. See you tomorrow, Jamie. Hey Patrick, can you come pick me up at the hospital? As a mother, there is no good way to care for a baby. But as long as your love for your child is pure and true, it's all going to be okay. But do learn them to do the dishes. <laughs>